All right. So tips, tricks, cheat codes to avoiding damages. Every now and then uh, you'll run into a very, very clever shipper. What I mean by this is anybody who's ever shipped bicycles, right? And I've managed all different kinds of uh, accounts that ship, you know, really nice road bikes to mountain bikes to e-bikes. Um, and I think everybody will agree the bicycle piece of it is pretty susceptible to damage, especially in the LTL network. One, it's already a fragile product. You're stacking several bikes on a pallet, usually destined to a single store um, or distribution center, right? Crush can happen. Things like that happen. Um, one of the clever tricks that I've seen done to mitigate the damage was a shipper took and on his bicycle box, he put a, a picture of a television right on that, like a flat screen TV. And he was able to reduce his damage ratio 20% because visually me on the dock sees that, oh man, that's a TV, right? Instead of just a picture of a box, I subconsciously in my head go, this is fragile. I need to take care of this. And that was just, a, he didn't change his packaging, didn't change the way he was doing anything. He just took a frame of a TV with the silhouette of a bicycle in the middle of it. So it just looked like there was his bicycle on a television and he reduced his damages 20%. So sometimes you don't always have to be re-engineering packaging. You just have to outsmart the human psyche there, right? Dock worker sees TV, dock worker goes, TV is extremely fragile. I have TVs on my wall. I love TVs. I don't want to break TV. So sometimes you see some really neat tips and tricks. I thought I'd just share that with you. And honestly, that wasn't the first time I've seen that. I've seen three different bicycle shippers do the same thing, but it works.